New at 5, Memphis is revisiting a painful part of its past that you might not know about. During the Great Depression, thousands of children were stolen at birth from Memphis. And tonight, a survivor of this horrible chapter is talking about Georgia Tan, the woman who ran what was called the Tennessee Children's Home Society. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Moncrees is here now. And Brittany, it's not only a painful chapter, but one a lot of people probably don't know about. That's right, Richard. About 5,000 children were stolen from 1924 to 1950. And we spoke with one of those victims who is sharing her story. I cried and I cried and I cried. At 71, pieces came together of Devereaux Eiler's life. There were pictures of me as a baby that I'd never seen. Devereaux, or Debbie for short, knew she was adopted but never knew why or how. It was the Great Depression. Debbie's mother had her out of wedlock. She was 19 and not married and she felt apparently very ashamed. Debbie's uncle drove her mother to a home for unwed mothers. But it turned out to be the Tennessee Children's Home Society run by Georgia Tan. It's just horrible what she did. Tan ran the black market for child adoption. If someone wanted, didn't want a baby and they wanted a three or four year old, she'd go out in the, in the schoolyard and steal them. Mainly from the poor and sell to the rich. If you were not, in her mind, um, an adoptable child. So let's say a little baby was born ugly or with birth defects, uh, she she would kill him. It's believed she killed about 500 when Debbie's mother gave birth. She was had to sign surrender papers under coercion. And then uh, she was told she had a baby boy that died, so she wouldn't trace me. Selling Debbie thousands of miles away to a family in Pennsylvania. If I had not been adopted, how would my life have gone? And that's a question Debbie was left wondering for decades until 2009. Now, she believes she was sold for $2,500 plus expenses. And coming up at 6, how Debbie learned of other Georgia Tan victims and came to meet her biological family. Live in the studio, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News.